Hi, I'm Jim from Zor Outdoor on behalf of ExpertVillage.com. In this segment, we're going to be talking about fishing gear and especially fly fishing. In this segment, we'll talk about what you should bring along with you when you're doing a float trip on, on the river. Generally speaking, you should uh, pay attention to the weather forecast and pack accordingly. But here are a few essentials that you really want to think about. The first is sun protection. Uh, this uh, sunscreen has a UPF rating of 30, and it would be a good thing to bring along. Alternately, if you're allergic to this sort of material, get a hold of a shirt and a hat, such as the one I have on here, which are rated for at least UPF of 30 or better. I like this muted color because it's not garish, and bright colors do tend to frighten the fish. They see you quicker, and then they'll go hide. So here is a bag uh, in which you can carry your gear. Notice that this bag is clear so that you can see at a glance inside. This particular uh, unit is a watershed manufacturer, but here's a very similar item from NRS. You'll see that the difference between those and this one, which is also a dry bag, is that you can't tell what's inside here unless you have it memorized. So you could get in here, it would provide good protection for your gear, but I would suggest that you get a clear bag so you can tell at a glance what's there. So that if it starts to rain, for example, you can reach right in and pull out your raincoat. It's an essential thing to bring on every trip. A nice, lightweight, this one happens to be a marmot, nice lightweight jacket that you can get from any reputable outfitter. Got to bring that. Second thing you ought to bring is an extra hat. Remember, you're going to be wearing a hat and glasses for protection when you're casting. So if the wind knocks your hat off, it's good to have another. I happen to have another shirt in here. This is a, a sun protection shirt. This one happens to be tarpon wear. This one is a Columbia U, uh, performance gear. It's, it's great stuff. I also bring along a little synthetic underwear, whether it's Capeline or Bergline. I've got two here, a long sleeve and a short sleeve. Uh, this one is Under Armour, so that if it gets cool, if you get wet, you need extra thermal protection, you've got it. And I also bring a little bit of a snack. Uh, this snack happens to be a cliff bar and some matches and toilet paper to start a fire. And that's pretty much it. Um, extra socks if you need them. A clear, a clear waterproof container gets you access to that very easily. Packs up into a small package. It's got a handle. You can stow it out of the way and you're good to go.